Policy briefings by government agencies for the new year continue for a second day here in South Korea. Five related ministries briefed the acting president today. Shin Zemin shares with us their blueprints for creating a solid economy. Topping the government's economic agenda for 2017 is again propping up the economy through stabilizing people's livelihoods. In its annual policy briefing submitted to acting president, Prime Minister Hwang Kyo-hwan on Thursday, the government said managing economic risks tops the agenda this year. With the domestic economy losing steam due to weakening consumer sentiment and the cooling property market, we need to make efforts to tend to detailed needs of the economy. We also need to find channels of new growth. And to help speed up growth, the finance ministry says it'll front load more than 30 percent of the government's annual budget, some 72 billion U.S. dollars in the first quarter amid looming uncertainties at home and abroad. That's the largest proportion allocated for the first quarter since the height of the global financial crisis. And on top of that, officials say more funds could be poured in depending on the course the economy takes. Another priority is increasing new hires on the jobs front. The government and state-funded corporations will give work to more than 60-thousand young Koreans in hopes of reducing the stubbornly high youth unemployment rate that had stayed above 10 percent in the past couple of years. Also on the list is boosting exports, a major driver of the Korean economy. The government says it plans to lift annual exports to 510 billion U.S. dollars in 2017, putting the expansion of growth at 2.9 percent on year. And they plan to do that by reshuffling the nation's industrial portfolio and refocusing on export items that are high-value added goods and services. The government says it'll move quickly to deal with urgent global trade issues like oil price fluctuations and sharp movements in global demand. And all of this comes against a backdrop of the government's initial growth target of reaching 2.6 percent for this year, extending its annual growth target of 2 percent to three years. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.